Uh, we recently released a research report on the holiday home sector. Uh, it's a fairly new sector here because legislation was recently changed to allow individual homeowners to start renting them uh, by themselves without having to go through an operator. And that's really led to a rise in, in holiday home supply here. And that's essentially why uh, we felt that this was a good time uh, to issue a holiday home report. The, there's many interesting dynamics uh, in the holiday home sector that are specific to Dubai that are not necessarily applicable uh, in other markets. Uh, one of the most important ones is that whereas in other markets uh, holiday home supply or you know, Airbnb for lack of a, of a better term, they tend to be located outside of hotel districts in secondary areas and generally what the promise is is that you can experience uh, cities as a local uh, and experience local culture not necessarily as a tourist. Why it's different in Dubai is that this supply is concentrated within the exact hotel districts that hotel supply is and the ramifications are much greater in Dubai than they are in other markets. So in Dubai for example so the Dubai Marina, JBR, and downtown Dubai are the areas in which there, are a lot, there is a lot of hotel supply. But at the same time, there's also a lot of holiday home supply. In Dubai, it's different to other markets because legislation was put on the holiday home sector at the onset um, rather than retrospectively. So if you look at markets such as New York and London, they're trying to put legislation now that the Airbnb supply has, has become problematic for the hotel and service department sector. In Dubai, it's slightly different. Uh, and the reason why is because legislation has been in place since the onset. The only way to become a holiday home operator is to apply for a license through the DTCM. And this license is annually renewable. So in this way, they can very much control the growth of supply uh, in line with what is required by the market and in a way that is harmonious between hotels, service apartments, and holiday homes. In Dubai, the idea is that you issue these licenses on a one-year renewable basis. And as such, there is control at all times over how big the supply is. So the most likely scenario that will happen is that the holiday home supply will fulfill the gap uh, of hotel supply. And that's to say, the, the, the goal is to have 160,000 rooms uh, in place by 2020, which is when the expo is going to be. So the idea is to have a flexible supply to make, to make up the shortfall in holiday home supply by issuing more and more licenses. And then the government has the ability to either stop issuing new licenses or maintain the supply afterwards, depending on what demand levels do. That Airbnb started very much as a business model where you have an apartment, maybe you're not able to pay rent, uh, and you use this as a way to, as individuals to su supplement their, their income and as, as, as a means of generating additional revenue. Once you have all these big operators try, starting to move into the market and purchasing these holiday home units and operating themselves, then it becomes more of a corporate entity and more, more, more efficient and streamlined model. And then the holiday home supply moved, moves away from individual homeowners acting opportunistically, renting out a spare bed, for example, to a more established machine, uh, very, very much like a service apartment or, 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 or the, the hotel sector. Well, I was telling someone earlier about the differences between renting through Airbnb and Booking.com, which is another platform. The issues with something like Booking.com is that it doesn't make a, a good enough differentiation for the guests, for the end users, that they are booking holiday home, uh, a holiday home unit and not a service apartment unit. So what he's finding, uh, you know, with, whereas with Airbnb, the guests know exactly what they're getting. With Booking.com, they're not necessarily aware that they're booking a holiday home. And often, this operator would get guests coming to, to, to the apartment building saying, where is the hotel? And the reason why is because they're not fully aware. Um, so this, this will definitely become problematic as there are more uh, institutional sort of, sort of investors and, and operators who are running these, these, this holiday home supply because people won't know or may not know exactly what they're getting. So far, uh, it's, been, it's been really great. There's been a great turnout and a good mix of operators, developers, uh, and investors. 
uh, I think events like these are very important to not only create awareness uh, in, in the area about sort of the service department, not only the service department sector, but also the hotel sector and, 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 and the short-term short rental sector.